Something's on the move. <laughs> They're a bit quiet on the radio. What are they doing? <laughs> oh, look at this F35 then. Ladies, gents, teddy bears. It's your favourite show. It's uh, Ted's Quick Climb Friday, but not quite. We're in the viewing area. The weather got the better of us, but here we are. Very, very good morning to you. Cost 7.21, that's the earliest so far. Speaking that. That was, just called Red Bull, so. <laughs> that was brilliant. A very good morning, good afternoon. Oh, and again. <laughs> good afternoon or good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears. Welcome to the Ted Connigsby channel. We are live here at RAF Lake and Eve, home of the 48 Carter Wink. There's a bit of the F-35 just there, look, you've got him. Well, 
So this is the uh, new Stealth F35 with the new shed extension. And this is the new Stealth. Uh, they, you can hide your aircraft behind hangars and shelters. It's beautiful. It makes your shed look a bit boring, doesn't it? <laughs> so if you've got 100 million pounds, you could convert your shed into the F-35. <laughs> oh dear, how we doing ladies, shirts and teddy bears? Welcome. And if you are uh, departing to the Mideast, if you'd like to take gate one here via the shed. Cool, isn't it? Very, very good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day. Wherever you're watching from in the world, it's the Ted Coningsby channel, and we're live here at RAF Lake and Heath. Your, uh, your favorite shows? We do have two F 35s that are just hidden behind the, uh, <laughs> the hardened aircraft shelter there now. In the meantime, here's our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Welcome everyone that's tuned in. Mayhem, Marshy, Davey, Margot, Baxter, how you doing? Chris Bloxham, very good morning. How you doing, Spanaflight? How you all doing? Babsar, how you doing? Minestrone, Donna the Caker Cat, how's it going? Very good morning. Blackhawk NZ, how you doing? Hope you're good. John, got Matthew Clark, Babsar, Alan Gates, very good morning. Heather, how's it all going? Oh, yeah. We are on our way to 50k, Lady Sheds Teddy Bears. Welcome to the United States Air Force in Europe base. Got a free Air Force, the main HQ for the uh, United States Air Force in Europe. And they're based at Ramstein Air Base. Or shall I say the third?
So these are the F-35As of either the 493rd Fighter Squadron, the Grim Reapers, and or the 495th Fighter Squadron, the Valkyries. tuned into the Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Lake in Eve, home of the 48th Fighter Wing. And it's the only United States Air Force wing with a name, that's right. It's also named the Statue of Liberty Wing, named after where they were founded in France, home of where the original Statue of Liberty was made in Chamont, Simontier. And uh, while the 48th were based out in France at Chamont Air Base. It was near the workshop of where the Statue of Liberty was made. And uh, the mayor of the town founded them as the Statue de la Liberté. So it makes RAF Lake and Eve, their 48 fighter wing, a very special wing, retaining the fact that they've only uh, they're the only Air Force Wing of the United States with a name. RAF Lake and Eve is home to four combat ready squadrons, the 492nd Fighter Squadron, known as the Mad Hatters. Locally known as the Bowlers, they fly the F-15E Strike Eagle. Next up, the 493rd Fighter Squadron, the Grim Reapers, and they fly the F-35A, and you're looking at it. Next up, the 494th Fighter Squadron, the Panthers, they fly the F-15E Strike Eagle. And after 30 years have been deactivated, Last known as the Thundervarks, flying the F-111. Deactivated in uh, 1991, just before the retirement of the F-111. They came back in 2021 with this, reactivated as the Valkyries. I give you the 495th Fighter Squadron, Lady Shenzhou Teddy Bears. get to hit the like button plenty of you tuned in now so hit the like button it does have a major impact on our channel hitting the like button will cause a stir that's right YouTube will recognize that it's a happening stream and YouTube will therefore recommend it once we get recommended the views will start growing as it's gonna get more exposure please hit the like and do support our channel Lady Shen's Teddy Bears good thing is it's free to hit the like and of course feel free to subscribe and come join us if you enjoy military aviation join us on a ride my name's Nick Oss I'll be your cameraman and commentator, along with our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Margo, how you doing? How's the uh, how's Edinburgh? Man, Marshy, oi, oi, 48 by the wing, absolutely. Perry, how you doing? 
Nice one, Mission Apariton Para. Love that. Two likes, thank you very much. David Binch, Heather, how's it going? Welcome. LC, how you doing? Oi oi to you. So ladies, gents, city bears, of course, like I normally do, talk about the history. I'll do that a bit later because you probably won't be able to hear me. <laughs> And although it carries the name Royal Air Force, it is in fact operated by the United States Air Force. And this is all due to the fact that uh, it was um, it was created and built and functioned as a Royal Air Force station back in 1941, up until 1948, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. And then from 1948 was used and operated even today, up until right now, from the United States Air Force in Europe. <laughs> so another one, there's another one in right behind them as well.
watching the Ted Collingsby channel live here at RAF Lake and Eve. How are we doing? The United States Air Force Base. It's about to get busy. You know how we do it. Ted Collingsby channel's Ted's Quick Climb Friday. Here we go. There's even more coming out right behind them. <laughs> Hit the like, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Let's ride over 600 now watching. Come on, let's do it. Hit the like. It does have a major impact on our channel. Come on. And another one. Oh, oh. So 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16. Sixteen is a good number. Here we go.
So two fours, a three and a two. 13, 15 and a half. This is, I mean, this is that. I don't know, it sounds, I'm sure one of them was a three and they were sat up there. I love playing that game where you're chasing through the clouds. I love that. Well, what a great start to the morning there now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, over 1,000 of you watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the like, that's all you gotta do. Click, click. Oh yeah, come on. So that's got a leader, Ted Coningsby's ordering everyone to hit the like button. Come on, hit the like. That's all you gotta do, hit the like button. It's free, it does have a major impact on our channel, ladies and teddy bears, when we say that it's not like a, it's not like a Facebook or Insta Instagram post, is it, Ted? No. Hitting the like button does have an impact. Um, YouTube will recommend the stream, especially if we start getting a thousand likes. There's over a thousand of you watching, so if we can all hit the like button, and what happens is that YouTube will recognize, even in the chats, if it's absolutely buzzing, um, that also helps comments, but hitting the like button does have an impact on the stream because YouTube will recommend it. And once we get recommended, that's more exposure and more exposure could hopefully lead to more viewers and viewers could convert to uh, subscribers. Awesome, thank you very much. And to help us get to a bigger and better level so we can bring you 4K and get equipment so we can bring you better content. Isn't that right, Ted? Oh yeah. Oh, off he goes. Actually, no, I prefer it when you just um, do your little um, bottling off there, Ted. Okay, mate, yeah, when he's done, look, he just start. Like... Yeah, I love that. That is my favourite. I love that bit. It's like, see ya! <laughs> thanks to everyone who's tuned in. Chris, thanks for the updates, man. Thank you very much. I got you. Under 2,000 to go now. We hit 48k yesterday, ladies and steady bears. Just uh, 1,921 subscribers to go till we get 50k. It, wow, Linda Stegenga, thank you very much. There'll be some guards marches um, after these two depart as well. And we'll talk a little bit about the history of the base. Lots of you, Blackhawk NZ, Margot Baxter, Babsar, thank you all so much. Keith Gregory, who's, uh, yeah, I can see Keith. Uh, and Julianne and Linda Stegenga thank you so much for gifting 20 Ted Connexby memberships thank you so much like I said Guards March is coming up very shortly Mark Head oi oi where are you man Paul Burroughs oi oi Craig Bruce Clive Bruce oi 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 and Paul as well Paul oi oi 
got Julian oh, and Ginger. They've gone probably to get breakfast. Got Keith, Julianne, uh, Ultra Premium, whoever they are. How you doing? And of course, if you do come to the viewing area, uh, don't forget to get yourself some uh, breakfast from Dave's Burger Van or burgers for your lunch at Dave's Burger Van, who's here pretty much right up until about three, four o'clock in the afternoon, thereabouts. Uh, if you are in the viewing area, there are bins provided, but there are no, sadly, I've got to go facilities, <laughs> um, if you know what I mean. Um, so yes, bear that in mind, please, ladies, gents, steady bears. Um, there's no overnight camping. Please don't climb the fence, damage the fence, jump over the fence, cut the fence, damage the fence, rest ladders on the fence. Please be mindful, it is a military base. Uh, do uh, bear that in mind. Please put your litter in bins provided. And if you're like us, we do bring bags. So you can put your litter in and then you can throw it away. Because what we found, we put in a little bit of tissue and it flies out on windy days. But you don't have to do that. It's just one, one of our things that we like to do. Uh, no drones as well, ladies, gents, teddy bears. If you, uh, um, you will uh, get in trouble with the law, there are signs everywhere that tell you. There's also a number on there if you do spot anyone attempting to fly a drone in the nature of pilot and crew safety. Uh, of course, if you see anyone with those laser pens as well please report that because <clears throat> it's very illegal and dangerous right here we go let's ride with some f-35 15 or 16 or 14 of them have gone out. <laughs> Go with 15 and a half. <laughs> oh dear, how are we doing ladies and steady bears? Hope we're all good. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel. That's our first wave.
Now we're doing ladies and gents teddy bears. Hope we're all good. Hope you enjoyed that. Great way to start a morning with a load of send it's from the uh, F35s. How are we all doing? Hope we're all good. Here we go. Let's ride. How we're doing? Got this ready in case it's going to rain. Because uh, yeah, you got to be prepared for the rain at the moment, <laughs> especially this year and this time of year can be a little bit wet. How we doing? My name's Nick Oss. I'm your cameraman and commentator. How we doing? What a great way to end the week here. Uh, I'm Nick Oss, cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, who enjoyed his uh, his um, day yesterday at home, back at his uh, back at base at Ted HQ. How we all doing? How we're feeling? How we how we doing? We hope we're all good. Uh, let's ride. And I've got some. Um, guards marches to do as well for you absolutely incredible in fact let's get them uh, let's let's get them let's get them ted because it's nice and early in the morning and um it's uh, it's nice to start the day very positively as we do on the ted Connorsby channel so much generosity on the channel and yeah we hit 48k ladies gents and teddy bears that is absolutely incredible 48k yesterday superb where will this channel go Right, there we go, that's better Ted, isn't it? Yeah, is that better? So a massive shout out and thank you to uh, Babs R, who's gifted a Ted Coningsby membership. Babs, thank you very much, Guards March. Thank you so much for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Uh, Black Hawk New Zealand, Black Hawk NZ, thank you very much for your super chat all the way from New Zealand. Thank you very much, Guards March for you. Oh, I can hear something started up. I can hear something over there, Ted. That's definitely an F-35 startup. Is there more coming? Cool. Uh, Margot Baxter for Ted's Scottish Smoked Salmon Bagels. Margot, thank you very much. Guards March for you. Thank you very much for the super chat. Keith Gregory, who's here in the um, viewing area. Ted Coningsby Fighter Squad, remember as well. Eight months service. Oi, oi, morning, everyone. I cannot believe it's eight months when I joined this channel. Thank you, Ted and Nikos, and all the Teddy Bears for your hard work. Oh, thank you very much. Guards March for Keith Gregory. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much appreciated. Margot Baxter towards Ted's Air Shows Fund. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Margot, for the super chat. Malky Stoddart as well, gifting a Ted Connorsby membership. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Malky. Now, you're probably wondering, uh, if you're new as well, uh, why Ted's got a US A flag and uh, why it's got the title RAF. You may not know, but uh, this is in fact a United States Air Force Base, and its history goes back all the way, as a United States Air Force Base, all the way to 1948, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. But it was built as a Royal Air Force Station, as for my regulars know the story very well. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. But uh, there are others that don't. Um, so it's always good to educate, to communicate. And I hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Yeah, how we doing? Hope we're all good. So yeah, ladies, gents, teddy bears, hope we're all good. And um, just for those that don't know the um, the history around the base as well, it's uh, it's pretty cool because you know, <clears throat> I mean, this is going back with. Um, God, it's a bit windy still just now it's not that bad it's just a little gust here and there it's like Ooh, what's gonna happen uh, so yeah i mean the i was um when i was when i was a wee lad when i was younger i was studying um stone circles and prehistoric monuments and one of the you know i'd i'd, I'd be proper into it you know getting a tape measure and seeing where these stone circles and were aligned i know back then i had a compass as well i know uh and then i use it for to talk about runway um numbers and how they work as well but it is fascinating i know you're probably thinking where is this going with neolithic and prehistoric monuments but one of the questions i used to get asked was why 
here why there as you know why build a base here why why this specific place is there a reason maybe there's not maybe they think yeah loads of room build it but it's funny when i link um medieval and prehistoric and historical um you know the side of a hobby that i used to be into it's quite interesting because this whole vicinity was actually a saxon area in fact there's a saxon village not far away however um it was it was really interesting because when i first came here um i will get there there, there was a, there's a sign just there just over here on the fence it says it's got uh, medieval earthworks it's built on this this uh, spots car park is built uh, in the surroundings and on earthworks from medieval times and i was thinking cool and then one of our fans sent me a little email and i was looking into it and yeah you know what after realizing and driving past and go and seeing signs for uh, saxon villages and then i find out that this whole area was uh, like a saxon area um, but what's interesting enough, in 1997 and excavations in the late 70s, archaeologists um, obviously would have had to contact the base and, and so on with the council because there are, and I can see them now from studying them, but it's nothing, oh, let's face it, you come to a military base, you're not looking out for like Stonehenge or something like, <laughs> like burial mounds or, or certain uh, contours that give away burials. I can see, especially behind there, there's remnants of what used to be burial mounds and one of these mounds that was excavated in the in the in the 1997 they found uh, a particular burial now these bur uh, there are all sorts of burials but we're not going into this because this is not this is a military channel but there are burials for communal there are burials for more than one person so i'll get to the point the fact that these particular bell barrows were for a single person normally it's it's you don't often get jewelry swords weapons and a horse yes they excavated a mound just i think it's just over on the it's not on the atc side of things now i'm just trying to get there too far but on the north and where are we hang on i think on the south side hang on we're south yeah on the north side of the base that that side of the airfield so i just gotta get my bearings where's my compass when i need it um they found a uh they excavated in 1997 the remains of a saxon warrior all right in fact that was the thing and what i'm trying to get at is they even in saxon times there was this connection here with military because they found him with the sword he was about five foot ten 30 years old and they also in that burial was his horse as well so he was buried with a horse uh, jewelry and and uh, his sword as well um, these remains uh, skeletons of the of the sax of the they've named him the lake and Eve warrior so we're naming it's quite interesting now because a lot of you are saying about the catwalk when they taxi down as you see them sometimes they taxi down this way and it's interesting that the fact that the lake and Eve warrior was excavated on this side so it makes sense uh, i think it was perry that suggested it we call it the warrior walk so i think that's really cool because they're coming from that direction so yeah you can you can see that in the museum at mildenhall um so yeah so it was a, a real strong connection in then and then for whatever reason uh, as time goes on we're talking about 1912 uh, 1915 and sec uh, first world war this whole vicinity was known as lake and Eve warren so from the trees over there and over here this whole region was lake and Eve, uh, warren now again what's this got to do with military well it's interesting the fact that they used they decided the air ministry decided to use it as a um, ground attack range and a bombing range for their biplanes and aircraft that were that were uh, around in uh, in in the second world war and that was with the royal flying corps so the royal flying corps decided to make this a bombing range uh, right across the trees it'd be interesting to st the, uh, the the excavations in archaeology must have been amazing to have that mix of world war ii and uh, and saxon absolutely interesting anyway so uh, about 15 years later after that use when things got heated up in in europe um with continental threat um <laughs> thank you 48.1k thank you very much davy for that update um obviously there was lots of bomber uh, command stations bomber stations that were built so in 1934 about five and a half miles away the backwards crow flies just over there uh, was RAF Mildenhall that was built in 1934 and was served as a, as a bomber station however um, in times of that sort of threat things were new um, obviously they again it um, there was 
uh, bombing raids that were that were that were being attacked. There were air, airfields being attacked. So obviously the new thing would be a defense system for um for for airfields because at the end of the day what is there you know okay you can scramble um you know f uh, fighter aircraft to intercept the bombers but there's only so much you can do with that once a bomb hits the airfield that's it so what more commonly known as a decoy airfield so they then in 1940 built lake and eve as a fake airfield a fake aerodrome a pretend one so to speak like a fake runway a pretend pr planes i've seen um the only time i've seen this uh after i watched it was on uh, the woman in black 2 the sequel and you could see a q site you could see a decoy airfield it wasn't real but it looks at night it looks pretty effective and i can see why so it was to take the hit instead of um you know instead and being that's why you get a lot close together because one acted as a as a decoy airfield um so there was that but obviously things got things started to get tent more tense uh, in 1941 and um in 1941 they decided to um activate lake and eve as a uh, a working running operating um bomber station so from lossy mouth obviously you need to train uh, personnel crew so the first aircraft to be here were the Wellington bombers and all the way from Lossy Mouth were 20 operational training unit so they came here because obviously um, like we have today operational conversion units there is a squadron to train the pilot on crew for each specific aircraft there'll be a different OTU to do a different aircraft and so on and so on obviously when that aircraft retired um, or you know if they got um, had a different aircraft there'll be another OTU or they would then use that OTU to carry on with different um, different aircraft um, to actually have um, an operating uh, actually fully functioning bomber uh, squadron 149 squadron came here in 1941 as well with their short sterling bombers um, and I believe uh, OTU could have been 20 or 29 OTU were also functioning with Sterlings as well. Uh, it could be 1650, but they were at Luffenham. So I'm just trying to think which which one that would be. No, they were Luffenham. But I'll find out which uh, which one that was. But uh, 149 and 199 uh, came here with their short Sterling bombers. Now you're probably wondering where did the United States Air Force, in, you know, come you know come into it, and where did the 48 Fighter Wing come into play? So I'm just gonna. Now and again, a little breeze will just uh, knock, knock, knock some, some of the things off. But uh, OK, so uh, where are we at the minute? We're in the Second World War at the moment. But um, I suppose we could go a little bit further in and, and go up to the end of the war. So um, after the war, so we've, we've got to 149199. So after the war, uh, we're talking about um, a lot of airfields will be on standby. Obviously, the things are quite new. They're fresh everything's trying to get back to normal um, and 1948 the Royal Air Force um, decided um, to um, have a um, you know not funk not run the base anymore and um, had the United States Air Force come in um, the bomber groups to have uh, to be here were 307th bombardment group and also the second bombardment group and they came here with their b-29s but still all right this is this is the bit where are the 48 fighter wing well do you know what the 48 fighter wing wasn't even in existence during the second world war they actually activated in 1952 10th of july 1952 where in france the chamont Mortier base and this is where they will then get named as the Statue of Liberty Wing. Now the 137th, now the 137th Air National Guard, um, they were the activated as the 137th Fighter Bomb Wing, and they were redesignated as the 48th Fighter Bomb Wing. And you can see the original patch on Wikipedia. It's quite quite cool. I love seeing the progression of uh, fighter wings and so they're in France at Chamont Saint-Mortier base and I've worked out that the workshop where they built the Statue of Liberty that is pretty much in the vicinity of where it was built so the mayor 
named the 48 fighter bomb wing as the Statue of Liberty wing, obviously in France, uh, in French, so Statue de la Liberté. I'll try to learn that one. Uh, so, and even today, it's the only um, United States Air Force wing with a name, not other one. Every, every, uh, every wing has a number, like the 37th, I don't know, the, the 355th, I, I don't know, I'm just making these numbers up. Um, but, <laughs> or n number, f the, the fourth fighter wing, they don't have a name, Lake and Eve does. Um, so, when they activate, this is this is quite special. When they activated in 1952 as the 48 fighter bomb wing, they, and this is really cool, they have with them the original squadrons that are here today, the 492nd, 494th, and the uh, 490, sorry, 492nd, 493rd, and 494th. They're still with them today. So from 52, they've had these three squadrons. The 495 didn't come into play until 1977 though. So the original three squadrons, 492nd, 493rd, and the 494th. I could see F-35s taxiing. Uh, so during that time, the, uh, they, the, they were operating the F-84s, the F-86s, F-100s. Um, and also interesting, has anyone ever heard of the Sky Blazers? The Sky Blazers were under the command of the 48th, would you believe it? And it was actually the Mad Hatters, the 492nd, that were flying the 486s, and that's where all the little the stars and stripes and uh, on the ta on the stabilizer and the the wing. That's where that came from, from the uh, from there. And but uh, that was only until between 1953 and 56. Um, so yeah, in um, so it was in 1954, by the way, it was the, the that's when the mayor um, decided to name them, and they had a rename. The they went from fighter bomb wing to uh, the in 1958 they were redesignated as the 48th uh, tactical fighter wing, and two years later, ladies, and teddy bears, that is when they came here in 1960. They came here with their F100s. Uh, the 492nd, 493rd and 494th, those three squadrons, and those squadrons were known as Tactical Fighter Squadrons. Now then, for my part two of my history, let's skip right to the future and I'll be back with the history. So maybe this could be our 16th F-35 that was supposed to go out. So 9th, uh, 15th of January 1960, that's when the 48th Tactical Fighter Wing came here. This could be the heart. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, where is he? So carrying on with that history, you can see the, oh hello, <laughs> you can see the LN tail code. Now, not 15th of January 1960, as we said, when the three squadrons came here, um, you can see the LN tail code. Now the three squadrons um, came here with different, obviously when they came here, they decided to have a different tail codes. Now the tail code today is LN. And if you know the history from World War II, when they had um, tail markings, especially with these famous square D, this isn't anything new. So they didn't have LN then, they had um, the letter L and another letter to identify which squadron. They had LR for the 492nd, LS for the 493rd, and LT for the 494. If you want to see an F100 uh, Super Sabre with um, the LT tail markings, you can see that at Newark Air Museum, by the way. It's pretty cool, and it's a, it's a Lake and Eve one. When they converted uh, later on from the F100s to the Phantoms, very, very briefly, and, it, and I keep saying this, if anyone's got a photo of this, a Phantom with LK, they changed the tail code to one tail code for all scoring, it was LK. If you can find one, it's very rare because it only came out for a few months. And uh, that was scrapped after a few months and they decided to have LN and that was in um, early 70s. And it wasn't until 1977, Lady Shen's Teddy Bears, finally um, did the uh, 495th fighter squadron. Now they were known as the Thunderbarks back then by the way, because uh, they converted from the conversion of the uh, Phantom to the F-100s. 
All squadrons traditionally had a colour. The 492nd had blue, the 493rd is yellow, 494th red, and the 495th is green. And you can see a photo in the archives of an F100 with all four colours. During the time of the F100, the um, missions out to Libya, the El Dorado Canyon and the Gulf War in the 90s, in 1991, um, they were still known as the Tactical Fighter Wing, but after that, they regrouped, learnt from mistakes, and they were then designated as the 48th Fighter Wing, so they dropped the tactical part. All the squadrons had a Tactical Fighter Squadron title, they dropped those as well, and they all just became Fighter Squadron. That might be why one of them went out as a free, isn't it? The injured one. He's got a catching up to do. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. the LN tail code that's the Grim Reapers look at that 493rd split up like this and get a few here and there so yeah after the Gulf War redesignated squadron and of course the wing as the 48 fighter wing and, uh, the retirement of the F-111 saw the uh, deactivation as well of the 495th fighter squadron was in 1991. The other squadrons were operating the F 15 C and D, that's the Grim Reapers, the 493rd, and the other squadrons were flying the F 15 E Strike Eagle. And it wasn't until 2021 when the 495th were reactivated after 30 years and became the first F 35A. Of course, the Grim Reapers, when they retired the F 15 C Eagle. A2 will be designated as a F-35A squadron. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll try to make it a little bit different every time because I know we're going to get new viewers. So uh, <laughs> enjoy. So I'll try and make it different next time. Gingeru deliverer. <laughs> Over there, 
lucky, you just don't know. Oh, good start to the morning. Good portion of F35s. Did Turbo do one display yesterday? Yeah. I managed to catch it one in the afternoon, two or whatever it was. Mm. Didn't know whether I missed him in the morning. No, he didn't do it in the morning. No. In the afternoon, three o'clock. It was. No, that's right. I think it's the first official display that he was doing. I think it's Midlands Air Festival to be the first one. I'm guessing he might turn up in a different aircraft. Is that the word on the street? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is the word. <laughs> I think I've seen it yesterday. Mm. So I went round looking dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't see it. I'm sure it's around. No, I like the suspense anyway. Obviously, they'll keep it under wraps for the last, last, last minute. Mm. If, he, might, he might be sitting in it before the paint's dry. <laughs> I'm still going with my guesses. I'm still going because I haven't seen 913 in ages. Uh. And it had his name on it. I did notice that. And it's gone. It's just a guess. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to guess. I'm like, if I see 913, then I think, okay. Yeah. Your best friend's on its way, Nicholas. Huh? Your best friend's on its way. Is it? No. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> We need we do a break here, sure. Yeah, we could do it with a break. I might have to stream over there. <laughs> I'll go in. <laughs> yeah. So deceiving, you got sun nice over here. Blue skies. Yeah, lately I've been doing two parks. Oh, look at that sky there. Come on. Can't we have that? <laughs> yeah. I've literally, the last two streams, I've done one part takeoff, one part arrivals, because it's just been horrendous. <laughs> the best thing ever when we were in the um, Ewing Car Park at Collingford the other week, we were having no coats on and anything. Man. That was that great. Was that when I had 32 degrees? That was, yeah, that was one of the warmest days, that. Yeah, when I go on for walks, I don't mind what the weather is. I love, I love it. I love all that. <clears throat> the 
Yeah, usually. Yeah, like when I go to Dartmoor, I expect rain. You're, you're not. You can't dress for the sun. I, I am, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind, but obviously you mind. <laughs> Yeah, the calm before the storm. Yeah, we need that in Latin, don't we? For mm. <laughs> well, the motto is through storms. Through storms, that's, that's what I was trying to think of. Do we know the Latin version of that? We Oh, good point. We ought to. Oh, that's a very good point, actually. Oh, I get the um, squadron badges and everything. It used to have Latin in. in That's right. Somewhere. Yeah, they did. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it's kind of like very similar to one one five squadron. It's despite the elements. Mm. Their motto. Oh, I quite, I quite like that. They were a bomber squadron one one five. Marlin. Now they fly the tutor. With what a contrast. It's like I find it fascinating with um, the 351st and the 100. And, you know, there were bombers going now they're out of fuel. Yeah, yeah. Actually, am I right in thinking is it 25 or 27 squad? Yeah, 27. They want a tornado and want a chimney. I find that strange. Mm. I find that one a little fun. I'm trying to get my head right here. They're now transport, heavy transport, C-17s out in Canada. Oh, really? Oh, you might might get a toot. <laughs> Is it number thirteen again? I love thirteen. I love that one. Yeah. might scare the dog. Mind you, it's just had 16 F-35s to scare. <laughs> Good training for the dog, really. It's got... <laughs> I should have got the big flag. Shout out to the uh, Lake and Eve Fire Department and the crash teams. Is that, which one's that number? 18. That's a good number. Um, it's new, isn't it? Yeah. Ted needs to get a ride in that. <laughs> I, I think he needs to get a ride with them, I reckon. Yeah. Right, email coming up today. <laughs> I have to get Ted a fire hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, did yeah. you get that? Oh, that's great, man. Thank you. Oh. Someone's got an atom for me. 
Oh, you sent me a video. I'm nice. Said, yeah, uh, per Procellus or Procellus. It's P R E C E L L A S. Procellus or Procellus? Procellus? Per Procellus. Three storms. Love it. Maybe I should have just called it Free Summertime. <laughs> but that wouldn't be the. Oh, I'll go and have a look. <laughs> Oh yes, you got it. God, that's pretty good. Is that? Did you zoom in there? That's really good. Oh, they're waving. That's brilliant, man. And you got me in there when you. Ah, oh, brilliant. I love that. That's going on, that is. Thank you. Someone's... <laughs> Someone's put... Per pollen ad bay tuddenum through chicken to happiness. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yep, Pr Procellus through storms. Minestrone's put that on there. Thanks everyone that's done that. Uh, Dave Holloway as well, thank you. White Wizard, how you doing? Oi, oi. Captain A, how you doing? Dr. Soda, Mr. Grimsdale. Hope we're all good. John Goodless, how you doing? Colin Scrim, oi, oi. Jimmy G61, oi, oi. How you doing? Joshua Brown, Darren Arwood. Wow, 14 months. Linda Stegenga, all the information Nikos gave us added even more importance to this location. Being here is an honor. Thank you very much, Linda. That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. So we think about 16 have gone out today. 16 F35s are oh, year. So we're climbing high to 50k. We're nearly on 50k, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. It's it's a phenomenal, phenomenal journey. And thank you all of you for the uh, for the support there now. Um, good news is that they uh, they're out for normally about an hour and a half, depending on what they're doing, where they're going, and etc. That kind of thing. <clears throat> Lady Shen's Teddy Bears, uh, just, uh, just a quick one. We are a family uh, military aviation channel. We do have children watching the show. The, the children may be at school where you are, but they may be not in other countries. And we do have uh, a worldwide audience. So please just be, uh, be mindful. It is a family channel, so please uh, keep the language for families. Thank you very much. Hello, good morning. And of course, the Ted Coningsby channel always uh, do our best to keep everyone safe. We don't do faces, don't do places, ladies and gentlemen, city bears. Uh, if you've got any deployment details, please keep that to yourself. Please don't post them on here. We don't publicize any operational deployments or anything like that. That's a message uh, from the base, so please keep that uh, you know, locked. Thank you very much. Not saying anyone's done that, by the way, or any of the language or anything. Just a little reminder, as we do. How are we all doing, ladies and teddy bears? How are we going? Over good. Hello, oi oi. LJ approach. Good morning, Davy. So much chicken, so little time. You've got a Stu Martin. Everyone's getting really creative. So I hope you all uh, enjoyed the history there that we um, that we mentioned earlier. Hope you enjoyed that. It is always good learning, and I do try my best to add. Um, different things to it 
Uh, so this time I went down the lines of looking at it in a different perspective of what it would, you know, what makes a spot a spot, if you know what I mean. What makes an area significant enough for a decision to be made? There are okay. There are some places around the country that are strategic. You, you will also find that airfields in the UK are more on the east side because that's where the most of the continental threat during the Second World War was and across the you know southeast and east so lots of them in lincolnshire norfolk and they start to get you know around that sort of area and that is all due to you know the, the strategy and the strategic part of, of of being in a in a more of a defense and an attack role there's no point having it all the way to the west when you've got to go right across your own country uh to you know to, to head on to where you needed to go so that will be that will be why lots of bases again that are close together as well as i said there were a few satellite stations uh that were made what i didn't mention is the fact that um lake and did serve as a satellite it was under the control of uh Mildenhall. i forgot to add that in by the way um, which is what's called satellite stations they manage it but today it's actually a bit of a role reversal because the air traffic control tower rapcon how you doing how's rapcon how are they doing in there now rapcon radar approach control that's lake and eve tower they do actually manage uh, both uh, lake and eve and mildenhall gust wind today nothing that's going to give me a, an emotional time at the moment anyway I hope you all um, had a good week so far and uh, it is a great way to finish the week off here at Lake and Eve there's always something going on it's all good Lady Shenton Teddy Bears Hope we're all good. So we're just gonna wait patiently. Very good morning, and of course, good day, good evening, good afternoon to what? Uh, Gaz Russell, how are you doing? Captain A, Sunny, how are you doing? Gaz and uh, oi oi to Gaz and Sunny watching. Uh, I guess they're in the field. Are you in no six end? Christopher Hart, Trespire, oi oi, how are you doing, Trespire? Hope you're well, man. One, two, three, North Street, how are you doing? Probably. We're probably going to eat. <laughs> Plus, we're probably going to try and get it. You keep in the side of the fence. Yes, no barrier, <laughs> otherwise we'll never see it again. Yeah. 
Morning. Oh, even the dog's got oh, patches. Got yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Morning, sir. Morning. Oh, wow. I didn't know the dog had no, patches as well. That's brilliant. That's so cool. <laughs> that, I'm, I didn't know that. That is amazing. Uh, trust buyer, thanks man, oi oi thanks, weather looks nice over there today. Um, it is and surrounding us doesn't look great. I think we're getting lucky with it. Yeah. At the moment we are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a little nose around the... Uh... Okay. There's the SSR ladies. A lot of talk about transponders. I can talk to you a little bit about that, give you a little bit of a little debrief of uh, squawk codes and transponders, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Also, note uh, squawk codes are also known as uh, transponder codes, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. But this, this is the one of the two connections between. A transponder unit in the uh, in, on the in the aircraft and the what's called an SSR, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, uh, which means secondary surveillance radar. So, what what is it? What does it do? How do things pop up on radar? As in, okay. So, just to clarify, we're not talking about ADSD, uh, ADSB, or flight radar. We're talking about actual air traffic control radar. We're talking about the real thing, not an app or or ADSB or anything like that, because that's a completely different thing. Uh, so, first of all, squawk codes. We do get asked, what uh, one of our fans asked us what a squawk code is. It's basically a transponder code, and the transponder is an electronic device, and it produces a response when it receives a radio frequency uh, interrogation. Uh, so it will talk to this, this SSR. And aircraft have transponders to assist to identifying them on air traffic control radar. So you have to have them turned on there. It is a myth, they're not turned off just because you can't see them on your app. It's a completely different thing and I'll tell you the reasons why. But first of all, what are squawk codes? So a transponder code, basically, um, you'll hear uh, when an aircraft taxis before departure, it must have a form of squawk code. Now, a squawk code um, is numbered zero to, uh, it's a four digit number. Um, there's not an eight or nine in it, by the way, with to do with binary numbers, maybe, something like that, but anyway. It doesn't have an eight or nine and the inside uh, aircraft will have the transponder unit where it would be like a keypad and the squawk code will be given to um, the pilots and crew before departure. They have to have a squawk code. Why? Because that squawk code will give information to air traffic control what that aircraft is doing, speed, altitude, etc. as well. But it also tells the air traffic controllers what that aircraft is going to do, which radar it's using, etc. which areas it's going to be working whether it's going low level or in a distress situation if it has an emergency there is also a score code for an emergency so each code means something so as i've mentioned emergency 7700 that is the emergency score code so a pilot will key in 7700 and the way it would work so on departure uh, the Air traffic control will give the squawk code to the pilot and they'll key that in. So, do 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 do, right? It, I don't think it makes those noises anyway. So, before on departure, so they'll um, key in a squawk code 033. Actually, 0033 is the uh, parachute code, I uh, have interestingly. But anyway, not that they're going to do that, but they might do because they might be doing airdrops. Anyway, long story short. So, what is a transponder anyway? Well, first of all, it has two words in it, transmit and respond. Where does it transmit and respond? To this. This is the SSR, secondary surveillance radar. This is a very uh, characteristic of an SSR. It looks like a primary radar, except it's got that sort of rectangular uh, added radar on top of it with the four area antenna sticking up, all right? Don't know the technical words for them, but that will do. This is what it looks like. So when the pilot keys in that squawk code, it transmits to the SSR, all right, and then it talks back to the aircraft. It's like a high I am here signal. So it's constantly connected. And it's this connection, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, which makes an aircraft pop onto the air traffic controls um, radar. That is how it works using an SSR. Now, 
you of course as you can probably tell just from uh, looking in the skies or looking at an app even though I've said not to relate it to it you will notice there are plenty of aircraft in the skies imagine then if those aircraft turned their transponders off air traffic control won't be able to tell if there's anything in the sky and it can cause a crash it will cause an accident in the sky so it is in, it is it is a um, so basically the fact that you can't see it on your app or ADSB has got nothing to do with the transponder being off or on. Completely different thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, bears, the fact that if a pilot was to turn off in this country and other countries, if you turned your transponder on, off, sorry, if you turned that off, it would probably cause either an accident or a QRA. Why haven't you got your transponder on? What? Because military aircraft cannot fly in this UK airspace wherever they want. You just cannot do that because there are plenty of civilian uh, airliners in the sky right now and of course other military jets and it's air traffic control's responsibility to make sure these aircraft don't collide into each other because that is one of the job for example using RAPCON that is one of the jobs that they do to see within 40 mile radius of two aircraft not colliding with each other so turning your transponders off will mean you are blind by other aircraft and that is very very dangerous now you may have seen Top Gun series with lossy mouth and QRAs. The, when a QRA is initiated a, of a certain aircraft that comes into area of interest, when the scramble is done, these aircraft do not have their transponders on. This becomes very dangerous. Again, if you turn your transponder on, off, then you will most likely instigate a QRA. Once the typhoons are scrambled from lossy mouth or of course, or Conningsby, depending on where it is. The reason why the typhoons fly so closely to it is the fact that other airliners can see, oh, there's an aircraft there because the typhoons will have their transponders on. So this is the connection with the SSR squawk codes. Um, so that is why uh, you have to have your transponders on. Turning it off would mean no one can see you and you will cause an accident and you will most certainly probably cause a QRA. So that is, the, um, that is the connection between this particular radar, the SSR and squawk code. Uh, why talk about squawk codes as well? Well, they're quite interesting because if, you see a, if you're in the Mac Loop or the Lake District and you see an aircraft close, squawking 7001, that is the squawk code for low level. That's time to get excited. Uh, if you're at Hull Beach, uh, Donanook or an air weapons range, 7002 is a good code to know because that's... Uh, that means that's the danger area code so they can start squawking that code and they've been allowed to uh, do that 7600 is a radio failure 7500 uh, that's actually a hijack um, squawk code and the reason why I mentioned that 7500 7600 and 7700 are what's in an exam for a pilot hope that made sort of sense That is, Kieran, absolutely right. So, Kieran, that is absolutely spot on. So, that without air traffic control, say, you know, at the end of the day, safety is key. Without air traffic control, you've seen it here when we have like literally millions of aircraft all over the place um, doing circuits and all sorts of stuff. And it's, it's just, um, it's amazing to see how they manage all the aircraft in the sky so air traffic control is really really important it's you know the way they manage it you've got like um you've got four f-35s using point charlie you've got um other f-15s doing circuits and going around it is it is absolutely phenomenal it's really really you know the way they manage it you've got aircraft you've got um other aircraft flying around in the vicinity you've got milden hall it's it's pretty cool it's really really good so yeah it's pretty pretty awesome the way they manage it hi and uh it's it's just fantastic the way they they manage the skies and yet and yet the other the other part of it is civilian aircraft flying around as well which is sometimes you'll hear on your radio the mats penetration that's the military air um air traffic zone as well they you can uh, you can fly over it um but you it's, you are you, <laughs> I've read somewhere you don't have to contact them, but if you're flying over a base, I probably would contact uh, contact tower for that. But obviously they have their zones, 
and you can usually get uh, approval just to you know with your flight path to fly over it but there it, it is amazing well done Kieran for mentioning that because it is a you know a big responsibility and the way they manage the the aircraft especially when you've got all sorts coming in in circuits it is it is amazing how Rapcon that's radar approach control that's the 48th um, do it so ladies gents and teddy bears make sure you hit the like button do support the channel hit the like it's a really really helpful thing it, it does have a major impact on the channel ted coningsby channel almost at 1k likes hitting the like button like i said will get youtube recommended our, our stream because it has a thousand likes the chat's happy everyone's got buzzing hitting that like button will get youtube to recommend the stream once we get recommended ladies shens teddy bears it does mean more exposure and more exposure hopefully more viewers and more viewers well hopefully we can convert them to subscribers as well we are a fun military aviation channel i've um i've managed to learn everything even the history um all about aircraft and the way um all these little instruments that are around uh, lots of different roles i've, I've, I've learned as i've gone like you um had, an, had a podcast with swift Air aviation and they asked me a really good question um if i was able to do this five years ago and i said to them well I didn't even, I thought the I thought the tornado was still flying with the Royal Air Force and I thought the Typhoon was a Mirage. So that that's about it. And uh, I didn't know what runway numbers were and what they meant. But, and I wanted to, the way I learned, I wanted to sort of project that into the way I learned and just um, bring it out to you guys and do it in a fun way, not in a more, not in a really serious way. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't want to be, you know, I'm, I'm not a pilot, uh, I've, I've, I've no experience in this. It's just learn as I go and I like to teach. And doing it in a in a different way, a little fun way, um, and I don't mind being wrong either. I like being, I don't mind being corrected. It's you know I'm going to get stuff wrong. I, I think yesterday I said a wrong aircraft. Um, it was a Hamden, not a Hayford. When I realised, but I corrected myself. But uh, a lot a lot of things to to learn, especially when you I'm on the spot right now. But you get used to it, you know, get used to it. So yeah, that's the SSR. That's a really good question. Um, a good point from Kieran really good really good I like that because they are you know they are absolute heroes you know not just military you know those those in air traffic control around you know the world they just do a cracking absolute cracking job nice one well said For those that didn't know what QRA was, that's Quick Reaction Alert. Uh, for those in the States, we'll know that as NORAD. I think they have... Ah, oh, White Wizard, sorry, mate. I think you I think you mentioned it to me. <laughs> There's five, isn't there? So hopefully with the 16 or whichever it is that have gone out, hopefully... Um, oh, by the way, big shout out to the uh, Rapcon there, 48 Fighter Wing Tower there now. How are you all doing there now? See this? Can you see that? Probably not for bright now. Just a quick one then. Maybe for bright now. There we go. Look. Right. Why am I doing this? I've got my compass on me today. Where is it? I think it's. Uh, I think it's at home. In my pack. So runway numbers again. What do they mean? The basically direction of travel. There's runway. So if you see that, so. I'll tell you what, we'll do it, we'll do it from here. Let's go this way. Right, so we're, in, we're on our aircraft. Right, what do those numbers mean and you know, this kind of stuff? Right, so we got runway 24 and 06. So, you've got a compass, 
there we go look right all you do right runway numbers are basically direction of travel navigation is is the way is all you need to fly you need to navigate right that's the most fundamental part of aviation right you can see here i've got a bearing of roughly 190 degrees right all you need to do is basically get a compass that might even be what's that 210 200 200 degrees sorry yeah 200 hang on sorry i'm looking at one nine yeah there you go right so all you do take a bearing look at it 196 195 196 you round that off to the nearest 10 which would be 200 okay 200 degrees all you do is take off the last digit leaving you with 20 there you go see 20 so that's runway 20 if that was a, if, if the catwalk was going to be a runway that would be runway 20 hello okay mate thank you thank you very much so yeah runway 20 and opposite that i don't know if it works if you turn it the other way does it work the other way yeah there you go look if i turn it upside down so you've got 23 round it off to the nearest 10 will be 20 take off the last digit leaving you two so that's runway 02 behind me going the other way so basically there's always a difference of 18 because it's 180 degrees the opposite direction so 2406 coningsby 0725 there's always a difference of 18, like I said, because of 180 degrees. So get a bearing, round it off the nearest turn, take off the last digit. So Lake and Eve would have been something like 241 degrees um, that way, let's say. So they rounded it off to the nearest 10, which is 240, take off the last digit, giving you 24. There you go. Runway numbers can change, ladies and gentlemen, steady bears, if you're familiar with Magnetic North, because you know it, you know, with mag magnetic north, it does change every day. Uh, if it goes too excessively, then they will change runway numbers. There's a lot of scrubbing and repaint work. I think that sounds like them. Oh. Is that a donkey? Has, has anyone lost a donkey? You <laughs> It's weird, they're not talking to Matt from the talking to departures. Yeah, it's really odd today. Oh, have they? Shunk. <laughs> quickly run and get my radio if I've got a sec.
just waiting for the. Yeah, so we're just waiting for the F-35s to return. There was about. Uh, Here we go, two ship just coming in on initial. Here we go, it's time to ride. <laughs> All right, let's enjoy this. It's a straight in for two. I'm not sure if that means for two of them or for number two. One might be, I'll, I'll find out what that means now. No, I don't want straight in. Lady Shanta said bears, we need low approach. <laughs> or a PFO.
more shit. <laughs> Four ship. Oh. Four ship. It would be a four ship on the when the well when there's there's a two coming in on a straight in and then there's a four ship because he said initial. So. is good, they're going to do this. Oh, low approach. Oh, look at this. What is this? I've not seen this before.
Oh, full ship. Look at this. as well
Oh, that sounds good as well. Oh, look at these two. Base gear stop. Have some of this. Incredible that, absolutely brilliant that one. Oh, a good wall fee on that one. American Beowulf in Lake and Eve just then. I think that's all of them back now. And uh, just uh, just had a message saying we got 1k likes as well. Nice, great way to end our week here, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Thanks a lot, Davey. Thanks a lot, Chris, for the updates. Yeah, 
Bolton. 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 Bolton was interesting, right? There was. I don't know. There was a few. You know the first two that came in? I've never seen one go over on top of each other coming this way. Yeah, that was one was that way, one was Yeah, I've never seen that before. No, 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 no. And then that last one. That was... That's the one you banked literally just over the fence Yeah, too. it's amazing. Everyone's stunned. It's great. Something new, something different. The Vulcan Howl lives on in the oh, F-35A. Massive Howl. It was huge. Yeah. I mean, you're mad. Hello mate, morning, alright? Yeah, yeah. yeah, good, thanks. Is that it, all back in down? Uh, of that lot, yes, of the of all the F-35s, that, that's all of them back now. I... Oh, sorry. Peterborough. Alright. Yeah, you? Over. Oh, oh wow. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, he oh, said. Yes. Yeah, yesterday. Sorry, he did say. Stick it here to about two weeks from then. Yeah. Attempt to beat the M25. Oh goodness me. No oh, dear. Yeah. Check the ATIS in a bit and see how that works. In case that is it. I did hear him say have a good weekend, which isn't a good sign. Yeah, I did did hear I did hear the uh, have a good weekend bit. I don't like that bit because that means. Yeah, but it could mean just the F-35s. Yeah. Just gotta, just keep checking ATIS. Yeah, that was good though, nice. It's still early, it's only half nine, isn't it? 25 feet. How are we doing, Lady Shins? Teddy Bears, so. Oh. A delayed F35 <laughs> impact there. How are we doing, Lady Shins? Teddy Bears, hope we're all good. So, just. Let's go have a quick cup of tea and then come back. <laughs> hope we're all good. I'll just put our little. Uh, be right back, advert on. You know how it is there now. Hope we're all good, Lady Shins and Teddy Bears.
<laughs> oh yeah, lady sheds and teddy bears, welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel membership. I'm Nikos, I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Just want to say a massive thank you to all our members. Guns up and oh yeah. Take it away, Ted. Lady sheds and teddy bears, we want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country, from as far as Lossiemouth to Bryce Norton, and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centers, and special flights for TED2. We cannot do this without your support, and your support will be rewarded. You can now join the TED Coningsby Squadron and help fund the channel to get us around the country and provide us with the funds for equipment to bring you better content too. We have three exciting membership levels with awesome YouTube perks to reward you back for your support. Our first level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Squadron. You'll get a loyalty badge on YouTube, unique TCS emojis that you can use on comments and live streams, members only videos which include behind the scenes, deleted scenes, sneak previews and also music videos that Ted likes to play the electric guitar on. You'll also get access to members only Discord server and discount on all of our Ted Connorsby merchandise. All of this is just $1.99 a month. Our second level of membership is the Posh Officers Club. <laughs> this includes all of the squadron perks, private Posh Officers Discord chat room, Posh Officers discounts on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise, and the poshness of supporting the TCS even more. This is just £4.99 a month. Our third level was inspired by many of our fans who have been supporting the channel massively. So we'd love to reward you back with this and our third level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron. This gives you a more personal experience with me and Ted with exclusive live streams and content. You'll get a free Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron patch, a private Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron Discord chat room, a gold color Discord username, and a higher discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All this for just $25.99 a month. Ladies, shits, and teddy bears, the Ted Coningsby channel cannot thank you enough for all your support. And it's this support that keeps the dream, keeps the stream. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, gear. Yeah.
So I've just switched them around myself because I didn't really think yeah, so I could expect to have more. Yeah, so each round is different. Each round is different. Each round is different. Each round is different. And what, if you've got them all on, it's searching for five hundred, so you can't miss something. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a different feature. 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 So you can see the count of the people that they've got around the one. You can see it searching for these people that they've got around the one. So I was recommend to turn them off, but what you need to do is find the way you will make it. Thank you. 
those guns in the house. So you just leave seven of them? Yes. And so if I unhold them, if I say, all right, turn all these off, but keep seven, he opens them. Can you see the numbers disappearing? Yeah. So now you've done well with searching for seven. Right, eight is what always gets picked up straight away, and you'll never get rid of it. You'll just keep talking and talking until all that. And not what is anti, is that just... So it's an internal information service. It's really helpful because it tells you what runway is in use, if the runway is closed, any changes or anything like that. Once you've listened to it, press lock out, this LO here. Right? And you won't get that. It won't lock it out. There's any frequencies that you don't want to just affect. If you forget to tell you what they are, just over. If you want to open it back up, or if you've accidentally locked out the wrong channel, press hold and just search for it. And I'll write this down because you've got Mara on seven as well. So you can always lock that out as well. You can hold and lock them out individually. So it's closed off in a safe environment. So go back to eight is when you press hold. Some people are In the LO. Now, I've just got to put the right. cover because it's raining yeah, a little bit. Right, that's fine. Yeah, so that's what's going on. That's why you're not picking up anything. If that makes it. I'll come down in a sec. Because when I was at home, all I was picking up was stands to these guys. Yeah, so what you'll need to do at home, press hold and then find out where what is on what channel. Yeah. Write them down and then you'll know them. Um, it's not a bad thing the way they've done it, but they should have given you a bit of. It doesn't matter. But if, yeah. if you, no, if, didn't give me that's fine. So just write down what's on what. Yeah, I'll come down and say it's fine. So yeah, just get a piece of paper, write down what is on what. But what you want to do, if you come here, yeah. you'll need to lock out all the Marlin frequencies. Yeah. Because obviously you're going to start picking up. Because the problem with that is that while you're picking up Marlin, you could have had something here and you'll miss it. That's why. So, and then unlock the lock wherever you're going. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. They did that, they've done right, so don't put them down in the room. You just suck up and scan one to the five. You down like that, and put it back to the next one. If you've got it, though. Yeah, and it's on Is it on Apple now? Is it? Yeah, I want to. Ah, okay, there you go. Thanks, thank you. There you go. Oh, okay. Right. 
How are we doing, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears? A very good morning. It's still morning, goodness me. How are we all doing? Nothing at the moment. No, um, no radio checks or anything like that. So uh, sit back, hold tight. How are we all doing? Hope you enjoyed this morning's first wave. Thomas Filmer, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Ted, how you doing, buddy? You good? That's good, mate. And uh, just a guard's march for uh, Ginger Bailey for our breakfast this morning from Ginger Roo. Thanks, Ginger. Guard's march. Oh, what's that noise? What's that? Is that a 15? Yeah. Come on, wind it up. That's good. Wind it up. So Thomas, uh, yeah, so Ginger Bailey, thank you. Guards March, thanks for our brekkie. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. Thomas Filmer, thank you for the super chat. Guards March for you. Thank you very much. Good to see you last, uh, over the week. Marnie, member for nine months. Oi, oi, morning all. Time flies, fun and all that. Marnie, thank you for your nine months membership. Darren Harwood, member for 14 months. Oi, oi, what up? Keep riding the milestone wave. Greatest YouTube channel on planet Earth. It's a 10 from me, Nikos. Thank you very much. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, man. And this is promising. So we got F-15 startup and the extinguishers and ground crew are just the over the other side so that's good good news Paul Typhoon Reason member for nine months thank you for your nine month service wow time flies and many more to come ah oh, yeah guards march for Ty Paul Typhoon Reason uh, member for nine months there uh, Margo Baxter gifting a Ted Connigsby membership thank you very much Margo guards march And she's also topped up Wingies Mars Bars. Thank you for that, for the super chat. Top up Wingies Mars Bars, thank you. Uh, White Wizard gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. And Jonathan McDee also gifted a Ted Coningsby membership. Guards March for you as well. <laughs> and another startup from the F100. Pratt & Whitney engine. Matt Foster celebrating 17 months of Ted Coningsby membership. That's that's amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. We'll probably see you next. Is that a dog? I thought it was a cat in the corner of my eye. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I actually thought it was... <laughs> I actually, sorry, I thought it was a cat. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> <laughs> God's what March. Dog breed is that? It's a cat. <laughs> uh, God's March for uh, Matt Foster. Oh, yeah, we'll probably see you next week for Quick Climb Friday as it'll be at LN. Thank you very much, God's March, and thank you for 17 months membership. Alex Spinks, member for 11 months. One more to go. Come on. Great day in 4K. Love this channel so much. Best year. Uh, nearly. Thank you very much. God's March for you. Thanks a lot, Alex. And for your 11 months membership. Ted, are you right with that? No, let me sort you out, mate. There you go. So, then, ladies and teddy bears. Let's see what we can... We've got here now. Let's have a look. So, we've got... Just had a few F-15s just... Well, a few of the engines start up. 
ground crew are there, fire extinguishers are up, have just been put up. This is good news so far. Yeah, I'll have to check if it's out on Apple that that because yeah, I, I thought it was, it was Windows. No, it's out on Apple. Is it? Oh, that's going to be. A, can you tune it in then with Apple? I don't know. But you can do the spreadsheet. Cool. I need to check that out. Sounds good. Oh. Bowlers. Oh, I'll wear my bowler hat. <laughs> oh no. It's not you, it's Ted. I know, <laughs> no one knows I don't think there's one person that actually wants to see you. I know, it's Ted, it's all about it's all Ted. Ted. They're just being polite with me, don't you see? <laughs> <laughs> I get called Ted, I'm like, I just go with it. Yeah, well, why not? Yeah. Why not? It's all about Ted, he's the man, he's the star of the show. Just some nice picture, nice yeah. boy. Your van looks lovely, mate. Thank you. Thanks very much. Look at that picture of Bernie. Yeah. Yeah. F22 Ted. Oh man! <laughs> Call you the Raptor. I know, I had to get it. It was the only one. I, I, I tried F15, I tried F14, I tried all the Fs. And I could only get the. But, but it is a Raptor. It's a Raptor. It's the only mate. one available, would you believe? That'll do. That will do. I was like, thank you very much. Yeah! It took me a few years to pay for it, but it's fine. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't actually. It's anyway, probably a grand's worth, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. was actually quite reasonable, to be honest. Yeah. So we were, we were happy with that. Oh, are you on the old bloody ration packs? Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> we just needed some vegetables. Is it real? Is it actual ration packs? I've been told they're really good, but. Yeah, they're really good. They're they're really good. Oh, are they? Yeah. The team's got me soon. Only Russian packs from the shop. Oh, Ginge yeah. did. Come on. Bastard, he didn't get me any. So, yeah. He's a nice guy, so isn't he? Possibly it's just the F35s that are not good. Oh, that's right, yeah. Because I didn't think that was cheap. When he said 10 of a day, I was going, it's, it's a 10 of a day if it feeds you all day every day. You know, fifty pound a week, seventy pound a week to rob all your brother. Ah, oh, how are we all doing, Lady Chance? Oh dear, you got you got to think. My perspective, corner of my eye. Have the. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> No, we're doing Lady Chance Teddy Bear. So F15E Strike Eagle start up, and it sounds like the bowlers will be. Uh, be having a little uh, time to ride very shortly. Subscribing. 
who else we got hopefully we've got some new viewers because we are nearly at 48.2k already so uh i think 48k is going to be quite short-lived listen to that So, we are anticipating the 492nd Fighter Squadron, Lady Shunts Teddy Bears. Just hold tight, just to confirm. Can I get my radio? <laughs> oh dear so yeah ladies shenta teddy bears as we mentioned earlier in the show that the uh for the 48 fighter wing um were only uh activated and redesignated um to the 48th fighter bomb wing and that was in 1952 but what about the squadrons well again so the 492nd fighter squadron um, before they were the 492nd, the Bad Hatters, they were actually the 55th Bombardment Squadron. Now, that was on the 15th of January 1941. Now, they were a light bomber squadron, Bombardment Squadron, and they were the uh, part of the Southeastern Air District Army Air Corps. And uh, just looking at some of their history. Amazing. So before they were the 492nd, they were the 55th Bombardment Squadron, and then they became, it's got here, Bombardment Squadron Dive on the 28th of August 1942. They were flying the uh, Republic P-47D Thunderbolt. And they became the, uh, another change of name to the 492nd Fighter Bomb Squadron. That was on 10th of August 1943. Just to give you an idea, so they inactivated in 1945, 7th of November, and then they were reactivated together with the 48th, uh, again, 10th of July 1952, as the 492nd Fighter Bomb Squadron, or the Fighter Bomber Squadron. And again, that was at the Chamont Air Force Base, flying the F-84 F G Thunder Jets, in the 53 and uh, then they switched to the North American F-86 F Savers the last of the Thunder Jets left in 54 so they are uh, known as the Mad Hatters but locally so they've had this tradition of obviously called the Mad Hatters which is really pretty much suits the Ted Coningsby channel right <laughs> but um, with Ted's beret and my baseball cap etc um, the tradition of wearing a particular headgear I'm not sure where that come from but I'll have to I'll have to maybe ask one of the crew but uh, they have another nickname and also to do with the headgear that they wear now it's to do with the traditional hat worn in that particular country so they're also known as the bowlers because in the UK in Britain sorry the uh, the traditional English hat is the bowler hat now they spell it slightly different it's uh, B O L A R S but it's the same meaning of the bowler hat and the then the the, um, the tradition of wearing the bowler hats is part of their tradition and uh, this is what it looks like <laughs> Let's ride. So yeah, bowler hat, they're known as the bowlers, like I said, spelt B-O-L-A-R-S. And um, that is like a, a local nickname to them. So they have the bowler ops, etc. So there you go. Check this out. 
Let's ride. <laughs> so that's the uh, 490 second fighter squadron. And of course, in uh, between 53 and 56, they were uh, part of the, or at least they were the uh, Sky Blazer aerobatics team. So hopefully, very shortly, we'll get some uh, F-15E Strike Eagle action. And again, these are the bowlers. Traditionally, they have the uh, blue tail flash. So yeah, we are heading close now to the uh, 50,000 subscriber mark. It is amazing. Don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe. So I reckon 20% of their calls are wasted just on the farm. If they just tried to diagnose things better, take some aspirin, I'll call you back in 20 <coughs> minutes, blah, blah, blah. Take some aspirin, you've got to. You should always have aspirin if you're old anyway. Have some in the car. You know, have a fizzy drink. It's indigestion bad. Jack Salmons, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. Roll on next Friday, birthday and the day at LN. Let's go. Nice one. Sounds good. Alex Spinks, how you doing? Uh, Johnny pa uh, Jimmy Pass, how you doing? Dave Holloway, oi oi. Jack Salmons, hope you're well. Chris Austin, oi oi. Time to get the Teds out, Lady Chen's and Teddy Bears. Let's get them out. Pete, where are you going? You can't go in there. Come on. Has she gone in? No. Nice one, David Binch. Thank you very much. Sigurdsons, how you doing? Hope you good. What do you want them? Look. Paul M. Hennings, nice one. Matt, Matt Queen, how you doing, man? Hope you good. Paul Roberts, you're welcome, mate. Nice talking to you, buddy. Take care. Colin Scrim, Davey, thank you. Take nice. care, buddy. Nice to see you, Ted. You too, man. Military aviation photographs. Morning, how you doing? Silver Trig. Nice one. Silver Trig, Dave Holloway, LEJ Approach, Jenny B, Captain A, Andy H, Matt Queen. Nice one. Hey, Mad Mark, how you doing? Getting the Teds out. Peter Faulkner. Oi, oi. Oh, Babs are, hope you're good. <laughs> Yeah. How much are they? Come down off. No, ten. Got oh. it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I ain't got that much anyway, so you get down here. No, you're right. I was going to show you what they are anyway. There they are. No, I don't. Yeah, they're, they're, um, they're car wrappers, so they last. Oh, yeah. 
Um, but basically, you've got. I'll show you. Maybe. They've actually cut the letters out, so you can actually, when you peel it off, it just leaves the letters. It's basically proper. Oh, proper, yeah, yeah, yeah it's proper, yeah, it's yeah. proper. Yeah. And same oh, with that. Oh, I it's see so what you mean. That's why it's a little bit dearer than usual. Yeah, no, that's very But it's made enough. to be outside, so that. Right, right. Just, yeah. Just, nah, mate. No, no, no these no, are. No, yeah. no not I'm a problem, not no. complaining, mate. No, you'll be, how are you doing anyway? You're right. Yeah, I'll be here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I'll just tell him, mate, there. Short, a long story short, I was a kitchen fit. I can't do it anymore. We haven't done a kitchen fit. My missus is in the boat. Oh, wait a second. You've been. Oh, oh, God, God, God. So, here we are. I'm sure I can't go home yet. No worries. I shall hook you up again on the school night. Yeah, man. Cheers. Thank you. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss a wave? I'll have to have a look. Ten seventeen. Let me have a look. Someone. Let me have a look. I'm looking at it now. Is it the waving man? Big up the ground crew team, the maintenance team. How you all doing? Oh. <laughs> 10 17 10 17 minutes past 10 on the stream look just what happened on the catwalk <laughs> right now i gotta get my flag they, <laughs> that was absolutely incredible <laughs> it was so funny i didn't even That was so cool. <laughs> Did you just see that? I was like, what? Someone just said, look at this. So they clearly, they clearly know and watched that. <laughs> That was so funny. That was so funny. I can't get over that. <laughs> that, was, that was just like. That was brilliant. Did, ten, 17 minutes past. 10 just look what the ground crew did oh. um one of the team ran out up to the catwalk and went like this oh. <laughs> back. oh my gosh <laughs> are they all doing it they're all doing it in the middle of the catwalk <laughs> yeah they're all waving <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> Oh, we're going to go back now. Oh, bless them. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, my goodness me. That was brilliant. That's so cool. Just had the lock come out. Uh, just to confirm, they should be F-15s now. The ground crew team are here. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. If you tuned in, um, if you tuned in, thank you very much for doing that, and we do respect what you do. I'll tell you what, here's, uh, here's one of your representatives here. Um, I'll give you Grand Crew Drew. How you doing, Grand Crew Drew? Do you see me there? That's right, just quickly teleported over it. Now, nah, big shout out to those uh, 
guys and girls of the team and the ground crew. Hope they're all good. They do an absolutely brilliant job. You see, their motto is, right, that it's not the pilot's aircraft. It never is, never has been. It's our aircraft. We just lend it to the pilots, but they bring it back in pieces. They bend it, we mend it. They break it, we fix it. That's the motto of the ground crew team. Got to make sure everything's all tip shop on these lovely aircraft. My name's Ground Crew Drew, not a lot of people know about us. That's why we had to stand there and wave. That's right, you see the pilots flying around. But what about what about us down here that fix it? That's right, Ground Crew keeping things safe. Take care. Don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to the one and only Ted Coningsby channel. Whether you're watching it on the Wobbly Jelly or your dog and bone. Or, on a more modern word, your lamb chop. Don't forget to hit that like button. That's right, proud of my Ground Crew. Right, here comes some aircraft for you. See ya! See you in a London accent. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. See ya! <laughs> They're all in the pickup truck. That's why you don't get a busy, busy out of these Get a variety of waves as well. Here we go, over the catwalk, here we go. Well. So shout out to the 48th maintenance group, part of the uh, 48th maintenance, aircraft maintenance squadron, 48th component maintenance squadron. 48th Equipment Maintenance Squadron, 48th Maintenance Operations Squadron, 48th Munitions Squadron, and the 748th Aircraft Maintenance Squadron. Massive shout out to all of you. And uh, of course, not forgetting our uh, Tommy Sullivan. How you doing, Tommy? In the 48th. How you all doing? They do all the bloody workers they've got, got on their motto. Shout out to the medical 48th. How you doing? Oh yeah, let's ride in an epic. <laughs> no, don't. It's not, it's not. Don't worry about it's it. Cloud. Cloud. Huh? Oh, nice. right, yeah, that, oh god, yeah. It's fine. Doesn't look good, but hey. The Nikos cloud is cumulus, strata, and Nikos. Yeah. <laughs> the Nikos cloud.
my mate. The main electrics covered anyway, so they're they're fine. Maybe my notepad needs to go. There we go. If I get that covered up a little bit there now. And then... <laughs> the notepad's got to go. You're watching the Ted Konigsby channel live here at RAF Lake in EF. How are we all doing? Hope we're feeling good. Now we've got our 15 E Strike Eagles of the 492nd. Few more, here we go. So I can keep my thumbnail now because I had F15s only on there, so it's all good now. are panicking, car alarms are panicking, the F-15s are out.
Welcome back, bonus. 492nd Fighter Squadron and Ted's no stranger to the 497. He has flown with them. Tail number 134. Ooh, yeah. Is it? Sweet. Some of it. We're not having that, are we? That's your weather. Oh dear. Did it did it did it.
Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Lake and Eve. How are we doing? Who's Mr. Freep? quick climbs there. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. I managed to uh, track that all the way.
<laughs> You're watching the Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Lake Edith. How are we doing? We just had two wonderful quick climbs from the F-15s. Uh, zero from the 16 F-35s that we've had today. But, uh, I did my best to keep my uh, tracking skills and guessing skills through the clouds in and out. And I saw this blue sky gap and hoped and they went through. Come on, hit the like. Over 1,500 of you watching. Let's do it. Subscribe. We are on our way to 50k, ladies, shins, teddy bears. I wonder how many of the 1.5 haven't subscribed. It's a great number. That's pretty much what we need, actually, to get us to 50k right now. So, But of course, there are hundreds of you that are already subscribed. Uh, DH Productions, yeah, F-35s are done. They, uh, there were 16 of them between Grim Reapers and Valkyries. Moon ATC incoming. Jenny B, how you doing? Hope you're good. Thanks a lot. Oh, this is a good day. Who's missed the F-15s? Because we have. Time to get the sweeps out, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Sweep them. <laughs> nice one, man. Thanks, White Wizard. Hope you're good. Captain A, Jenny B, Christopher Carr. Oi, oi. Welcome to the show. Arjen, how's it going? Thanks again. Absolutely, we've missed them. Sharon Crook, great point, and that's why I mix it up a bit. I zoom out so you get to see the first one and don't miss it. So when it comes to the regular sorties here, I'll always concentrate more on the afterburners as they go off a little bit, and then usually catch the last aircraft on the flight. But with quick climbs, if you were to do just afterburners, you'll miss all the climbs. So the only way I can get around that is to zoom out and get both in the picture, if that makes sense, and then keep zoomed in on the last one, just to finish it off. It's a recipe. Yeah. 
15e strike eagles a two-seater i don't have any ted stats yet i will get them done on the new system when i go into 4k don't have it on here sadly I do apologize for that it's uh, original design way over 50 years or nearly 50 years of uh, its concept max speed of mark 2.5 hence the very large stabilizers are two stabilizers to to cope with the max speed of 2.5 so the uh, the lever have two pratt and whitney f100 the 220s and they're at 14,590 pounds of thrust or 23,770 with afterburner that's that's right <laughs> or the 229 version of the f100 producing 29,160 pounds of thrust with afterburner and those are each lady shenzer teddy bears i will get the ted stats uh for the f15s on the next 4k stream here at lake and Ladies ladies gents and teddy bears hope we're all good and lots of you asking about the sweep sound where well, we can uh, i can go into detail more about that how it works and how important that they are and also how important that they open and close and the sort of like the fin the gills shall we say that the beautiful symmetrical uh work all those tiny little segments that make those pretty little symmetrical patterns inside actually has a big impact on the aircraft and it needs to make sure they need to make sure that they open and close when needed to and also work simultaneously when running and it's all to do with how much compression is made hence they when they close when it gets really narrow that's when you get all that afterburner because it's creating all that all that compression and it's blasting out all that uh, afterburner out beautiful from the engines that full power thrust can cause an aircraft to um, go into let me think a, a flame out um, should those those tiny little fins go out of sync and not symmetrical it can cause the aircraft to uh, actually stall or go into a flame out because it's not compressing the the engine to, to combust sorry um, so that it will end up not creating the right pressure for it to um, use correctly and it can cause a flame out it's all to do with combustion of the fuel
Thanks everyone who's tuned in. Don't forget to hit the like button, ladies, gents and teddy bears. It does have a major impact on our channel, hitting the like button. YouTube will recognize that it's a happening stream, especially now we've got way over a thousand likes. YouTube will end up recommending this stream and therefore give us more exposure. And if we've got more exposure, that potentially could lead to more viewers and more viewers could then lead to more, hopefully, a conversion to subscribers, which would be lovely. And that's why the bigger and better content allows me to be able to get you 4K and better equipment, better content, basically. Here we go. So thanks everyone for the support today. Oh yeah, and thanks for tuning in and viewing and having a good time. So just two quick climbs for today. We've had 16 uh, F35s depart with a local climb out, two F15D Strike Eagles with a uh, quick climb, two quick climbs. There's one, two, three F15E Strike Eagles still to go. There potentially could be another one. I'm not 100% sure just yet. Usually means when, this, when there's two waiting here, there could be more. We'll see. going to melt in this sun. There it is, that's what they were waiting for. Yeah, so lots of people, I've been asked this quite a lot lately about idle and how much fuel is used. Not a lot really, even at uh, commercial airliners, when they start their engines, they're in idle for quite a long time and sometimes you're delayed and the engines are still running. Doesn't use, it's a very, very small amount of fuel is used for an aircraft. Oh, I missed that sweep sound. Let's ride.
Here we go, ladies and gents. The Teddy Bears, Ted Connorsby Channel. Send it. I knew you'd get excited. Davey's always getting excited about the pole plane lifting. Baby sends me little updates of his condition while watching the Ted Connigsby channel. Um, I get live Davey updates of his um, pretty much heart pressure, everything. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Just messing with you. <laughs> he, he does crap me up. David Wolfman Wells, how you doing? Hope you're good. How you doing, Martin Fair brother? Tony Bagley, how you doing? Hope you're good. All good here, Nick Ross. Thanks. And you too, David. David Wolf Manuels, hope you're good. Christine Barnes, Steve, Patrick Mitchell, how you doing? Elizabeth LeBourne, oi oi. Yeah, absolutely spot on, Jack. 
Jack Salmons, that's correct, with overspeed. If you were to overspeed with your gear down as you're on takeoff, you can actually jam them and damage your gear. So they, that's why they come out of afterburner, make sure that the gear's retracted and then whack on the afterburner back on. Stephen Billings, oi oi. Mark Kane, how you doing? And Roger Payne, oi oi to you. Hope we're all good. Jack, see you, uh, yeah, hopefully see you next Friday. I should be here. Not sure which end yet, but uh, I will be here. Marco Baxter, how's it going? Hope you're good. Ladies and teddy bears, here we go. into the emotion but it's always blue skies above the clouds so just got to get to it that's all 
Oh dear. Was it Monday when the four went out without half of them? Yeah. Do you know why? Don't know. Don't know. Well, I see it before. It's rare. It is rare. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't know what code one is. The news is coming back. Jessica Simmons, thank you very much for joining us. How you doing? J and E B, how you doing? One's coming back then, right? What's that, buddy? <laughs> yeah, maybe something's wrong, perhaps, I don't know, it's a bit...
Is it? Oh, yes! Thanks a lot. Bowlers. Clear low approach. We'll have a low approach. It's all about the low approach, isn't it? Ready for some sploppy. Come oh, yeah, yo, it's gonna be good. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Steady so we've got uh, F 15s just coming back. We did hear the magic, magic words of low approach. That's what we want. We want to keep them in the air as long as possible. Yep, here we go. See the emotion out right there, look. That's the emotion. And there's the lovely ocean. <laughs> uh, there are F-15s inbound, one's requested a low approach, and it's been cleared. Looks good, this looks fast and good. That's how you do it. I think it's been clear to land. Was that land? Is it, 
This ain't landing no Oh, look at this! Skills. <laughs> the view from that was it a Dacia? A duster. Look good. There we go. Beautiful approach. Beautiful. From both, very aggressive as well. Love it. That's that two back. Oh, that doesn't look good. Ugh. Oh, we might miss a bit of this. Oh no. I don't know. Look at the Huh? Same thing. Yeah, I did, yeah I did. when I see it, I was like, yeah, nah, I ain't gonna land. It didn't, I had no intention of landing that one. Ah, oh, cool. Yep, here it is. Boom. At least it's not like winds and everything to go with it. Oh, goodness, that looks emotional. Changing the temperature as well. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh wow. I thought there was something unique about that. <laughs> How are we doing Lady Shen Steady Bears? Hope we're good. And uh, we've hit 46.2k. Nice. Uh oh. Oh, is that hail? Oh man, if we're gonna get bashed. 
hailstones. Ah! Oh my! Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, hailstones in 4K. Look at this! <laughs> oh my! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Try not to laugh at this. Is it? Look at the hail, man! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's massive! <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh, man. It's quite fun. <laughs> oh, that's a bit yeah, it's just a bit of hail. At least it's dry rain. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's solid rain, that's what I mean. Do you like that? It's dry rain. That is the new... When it melts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's rain that you can pick up and put it anywhere you want at the moment. That was brilliant. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Got another go at it. Yeah, totally agree. Look to your left there, the purple trees distance. That one. Oh goodness me. Did you ever miss that? Yeah. Well, I've got to admit, I think we've been quite lucky considering what we could have had. Here's what you could have won. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I thought everyone would find that adventure. <laughs> I know. They're all laughing at my quote, dry rain. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Ted, get inside, mate. Ted's had enough. Ted's off. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have a cup of tea. You got tea? Yeah, I have. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. I don't know if I'm going to lift that one down now, the dry rain. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know what I meant. The worst <laughs> one was it's rain you can pick up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's rain that you can pick up, exactly. When you've been pebble dashed. Yeah, you can pick up the hail, move it, and then it melts. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Maybe it's like getting windy at me. I saw sort of, Perry said I could have iced tea. Yeah, if I leave the tea out. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds well good.
I'm, I'm loving that, that, four seasons in one go. <laughs> this is insane. I'm never going on holiday with you. I do of it. Someone else has said that and I was like, oh, what are you trying to say? Yeah, this is just weird. Oh, even the sun went away when I was... Getting desperate now. The wind is changing now as well. It's going that way, isn't it? Green clouds. <laughs> Dry rain. Rain that you can pick up. <laughs> I need to be a weather yeah, reporter. Man, Thank you. 
something taxi in, isn't it? There's something. An F15. Well, I think you said taxi via Romeo. What's Grandma? Uh, I think when they, I think it's their. Um, if there's problems, so someone's been talking to Ramrod. Yeah, Ramrod is like. Oh. There's Ramrod over there. Yeah. The ground crew moving around. Okay, I'll go have a look at this. Let's go. Yeah, it was weird. It was taxi via Romeo, unless it's. There's one coming down now. Yeah. Two, isn't there? Welcome ladies, gents, teddy bears, how we doing? More F-15s for you? Oh yeah. I think Ramrod is uh, maintenance engineers for when there's a problem. From what I'm finding. How are we doing ladies, gents, steady bears? Thanks for tuning in to the Ted Coningsby channel. We're live here at RAF Lake and Eve, home of the 48 Fighter Wing, also known as the Statue of Liberty Wing. Home to four combat ready fighter squadrons. And between them, they fly the F-15E Strike Eagle and the F-35A. Squadrons that fly the F-15E Strike Eagle are the 492nd 
fighter squadron, Mad Hatters, also known locally as the Bowlers, and the 494 fighter squadron, the Panthers. Flying the F-35A are the 493rd fighter squadron, the Grim Reapers, which we've seen today, along with the 495th fighter squadron, the Valkyries, which again, we've seen today. And it's got this oi oi. Let's ride, Lady Shanty Teddy Bears. Let's ride. So traditionally, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, the uh, the colours do represent the squadrons. However, in this instance, it uh, is all in the call sign. So, for example, the red tail flash that you can see here uh, indicate that it's the uh, 494 fighter squadron. The blue tail flash that you can see indicates that it's the 492nd fighter squadron. However, if there's no jets available, they will just use another marking or another squadron marking jet. So, if there's a jet not available and you need one go to another squadron grab one thank you very much but uh, to identify which squadron it actually is flying uh, it's all in the call sign and of course if you've got a scanner it will tell you which frequency it belongs to as well
Judy Cross Oi Oi. How's it going, Lady Shanks and Teddy Bears? Hope you're all good. Two F-15 East Strike Eagles awaiting departure clearance. Nice ride. And welcome everyone who's tuned in. Just seen the hair. <laughs> John Clark, how you doing? Victoria Keating, they're all noticing the uh, the hair. May and Marshy, Margot Baxter, Igan, how you doing? Rachel Blanchard, how you doing? Oi, oi. Julie Cross, Mike B. Kevin Jackson, how's it going? Julie Cross, uh, Elizabeth LeBourne, Jakey H2000, how's it going? Davey, oi, oi. Perry, how you doing? Thanks for the info. Yeah. White Wizard, how's it going? Oi, oi. Sheridan, how you doing? Hope you're good, man.
Hope we're all well, ladies and gentlemen. Steady Bears, this is the only channel to watch military aviation. Or the one and only military aviation channel that streams nearly five days a week. <laughs> this is uh, full time. And we only do military, ladies and gentlemen. Steady Bears. Mm -hmm. What's that you got there, mate? slides there look <laughs> Nick Ward, how's it going? Hope you're good, man. Regards to you and Millie and family. Jonathan McDee, how you doing? <laughs> Christine Barnes, Sheridan, loving the ranks, slides. Yep, can't find bear size, but that'll do. Bless him. did anticipate it. We were ready for it. Oh, it's nasty. Well, it's not dry rain now. It's uh, your standard stuff. It is awful. watching this you looking at this it's horrendous look at the rain absolutely bad now we're getting it now we're getting it but how long not too sure <laughs>
you could have stated that. <laughs> well, it still hasn't put a dampener on the uh, on the week and today as well. It's been an absolutely incredible ride this week. It's been fantastic and I cannot wait to find out what we're up to next week. Don't forget, every Sunday we do update the uh, what's called No Teds. We like to know our uh, regular weekly uh, sort of schedule. It can change, of course. Do keep checking back on the YouTube community on our latest No Teds, which are updated every every Sunday. Uh, if you use the YouTube community, you'll see as well that we put on there as well little updates, such as today that we put that we weren't going in the uh, in the field. We were going to be in the viewing area. Little things like that. Sometimes we do cancel uh, due to weather and uh, operational reasons as well. So do keep a look out. We do update it on the website, but it does say to it does suggest to go and use the YouTube community. So lo locate it for the the Sunday before the start of the week. Mind you, in some countries, Sunday is the start of week on calendars, but uh, you know what I mean. Hope you drive wherever you are. <laughs> oh man, fair play. Bet Drew's having a good time out there. Andy, how you doing? Andy Lanzo, how you doing? Hope you're good, Andy. Good to chat to you. Thanks a lot everyone, guns up. Thanks a lot Pauline Gilby. <laughs> Now, here we go. Go on, then.
Let's see what they got for us. Ted Connorsby Channel live here at RAF Lake and Eve. How are we all doing? Hit the like on this very wet day, a very soggy day at RAF Lake and Eve. Three F15E Strike Eagles. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely wet rain now. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the wet kind now. Dave Holloway, thank you. <laughs> Derek, how you doing? Derek Turunyemi, how you doing? LC, oi oi! Obsidian Moon, oi oi! How's it all going?
away they go to somewhere dry and blue <laughs> oh dear this is emotional disastrous weather this is They all come back. No, no I was going to say there should be way. four. Oh, okay. This will be interesting. That's the pattern. That's the pattern's open as well. So. Oh, okay. Well, we now have autumn. See ya. Well, there we go so that's another three to add to the tally of movements of the day it's been hasn't been too bad today 12 20 just waiting for the final four f15 e strike eagles to return I hope you've all enjoyed the show, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears. It's, uh, it's been a very, very good day and, uh, and a good week, to be honest, considering we did four out of our five streams this week. And I hope you've all enjoyed each one of them. <laughs> Linda Stagenga, how you doing? Hope you're good, girl. Hope you're all right. Paul Fuller, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, Red... Red Ted has been in the correctional. Uh... Here we go. Well, this is an interesting one. Coming on this way.
very interesting route this one Gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> Beautiful. Never seen him come in like that before. gone so that's a pretty good telltale sign that that would be it as far as F-15s are concerned along with the fire extinguishers little telltale signs for us anyway AWCU was doing. checking now on that Thank you. 
eight hour journey they've just done. Yeah, I think it's gas. Yeah. Yeah, they've come. I'm sure that's them. I, don't, I didn't know they had a car. Yeah, must, oh, yeah, it is. It's up on fight. They were down the other end. <laughs> yes, I think they have. There they are. Oi, oi! Oi, oi! <laughs> How's it going? They Wait. met. You did go, you did make it to the other end, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I did yeah. say, I was like, yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Did you see any crocodiles in there? <laughs> did you see any crocodiles? <laughs> How's it going, all right? I uh, got much, mate. You can't stop morning, this is just a normal day to It is a normal day. <laughs> How are you guys doing, all right, yeah? Sup, dude? Yeah, you good? You good, nah, how's it going, good, pal. You good? <sighs> yes, here are you, son. Yeah. Good, bud. Okay, okay, yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah, good, good, good. We got. Oh. Still clear, we'll bring them down. Hi, Brew Hong. Oh, yes. Weep! Oh, he's got a free t shirt as well, that's the thing. I could not buy it. Could not buy it. Oh, clear to land. Ah, uh, that, that yeah. retro, retro is actually too obvious. Is it? Yeah. Oh, has he had a problem or something? Oh, is that I thought they were going far away. away. Man, it is absolutely horrendous. Because yeah. um, you see, you went to the field, yeah? Yeah. Right. I mean, there's the lake nest monster in that field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Do you know the funny thing is? We all stand and watching you on the channel, obviously, when the hailstones come right. in, you're driving. Right. Oh, <laughs> I bet you're pinged on. Next time we got as well. We were saying laughing. We were saying nothing. We were saying nothing. It's dry rain. Dry rain. Yeah, oh, no. It's oh, going to take a long time for that to go away. <laughs> I knew what I meant. It's rain that you can pick. <laughs> as long as you knew what you meant. <laughs> I knew what I meant. Uh, it made it. I think it made everyone laugh. I think, but it's gonna take. It's gonna take a long time for people to. Uh, I think we did, mate. I think we did. Oh, uh, it was. Uh, yeah, no. You got two quick climbs, so in the end, didn't you? you got the. Uh, it was certainly emotional. It was definitely emotional. Um. So here we go. <laughs> Here we go. There's another one. It's all about the fleet. Two more, is it? Yeah. It's got this rain's got to go. This is this is the wet rain. This is this is not the rain that we you know. The wet rain you can't pick up. This one you can't pick up. <laughs> You were picking raindrops out the back of the car, weren't you? They've changed runways, haven't they, down there, then? Where, at Mildenhall? Yeah, yeah, tank was up. Oh, yeah. Look at it there now. So they're going to be out of water. Yeah. No, I don't think those ones are coming back. The, the three that went, that they're going for repairs somewhere. People have said, because... Huh? Yeah, long way. Yeah, long, long. yeah you'll, you'll be here a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs>
a bouncy one that one <laughs> and then our last one of the day How you doing? Grand Crew Drew here. What? I just want to say a big thank you to those two boys over there. Gaz, Russell and Sonny. Thanks a lot, Sonny, for bringing these. Now, these are like Scottish flying saucers, really. They're iron brew unbugs. They are absolutely lovely. If you like iron brew, we wish they'd last a bit longer. Well, they do a humbug version. Now, all right. Hey, what are you doing around here? What are you doing there now? Now, these are... Uh, Iron brew one bugs all ready from Scotland. Oh, that sounds good there. What do they taste like? Chucking? No, no, mate. They don't taste like chucking. Oh, what do they taste like? They taste like iron brew. Oh, like chucking then? No, not everything tastes like chicken there, uh, Reggie. What do you mean? Oh, never mind. Well, I'll tell you what. Come round mine and we'll have a few, uh, we'll have a chicken and sweet party. How's that? Oh, that sounds good there now. I'm there now. I'm going to bring my mate Reggie as well. That's fine. You bring who you want, mate. This is the end of the, uh, End of the show, just uh, want to say massive thank you to everyone who's tuned in. And uh, yeah, it's been an absolute cracker of a week, hasn't it? Oh, it's been good. I've had lots of chucking there now. Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. Lots of chucking. 
Yeah, it's all good. Where's he gone now? Hey, oi. Oh, this guy's good at chasing chickens. Hey, hey. Right there now. Right, behave yourself there now. My name's Reggie, part of the RAF Regiment. And I still work on the weekends there now. Right, I'm off there now. Right, we're a bit on the wobble there. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Close it off for the day. Close it off for the week. Say our goodbyes. Go and get Ted. Woo! Gents of Teddy Bears. Yeah, so we're just gonna finish up. I've got um, a few shout outs to do. Thank you to everyone for that. And what a week it's been. Absolutely incredible. So there's a, a proper shout out to Gaz Russell and Sonny for that. For those humbugs, thanks a lot. Come all the way, eight hour journey from Fife for today, nice one. Uh, Lulu, thank you very much. Super chat, thank you very much. Awesome channel, thank you. Guards March for you. Doug Ross, gifting a Ted Connorsby membership, Guards March. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, Nick Ward, happy quick climb Friday to the best channel on YouTube. Guns up, nice one. Thank you very much, Guards March for you. In regards to Millie as well. Sheridan, oi oi, Ted, Nikos and Spanner crew. Oh, nice one. Thank you very much, Sheridan. Guards March for you. Uh, Stephen Billings, who's celebrating a milestone of six months. I hope you didn't get hit too bad, Nikos. Thank you very much. No, it was all right. We survived it. And uh, coming up to the end of the week, and what a way. I do like to end the week here. It's, it's really nice. Steve Broughton, member for four months, getting closer to the six months and the best aviation channel out there. Thanks a lot, Steve Broughton. Four months service. Thank you so much. And finally, Darren Harwood, member... Uh, sorry, welcome to the uh, Ted Connorsby Squadron. Thank you very much, Guards March. Well, there we go. Yeah, good to see you again. Take care, all right. Oh, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears. That is a wrap for the whole week. And what a week it's been. An incredible ride. <laughs> Ted, how you doing, mate? You good? Yeah, Ted's fine. Ted's all good. He's a, he's a bear, so he's hardcore like that. What a week. What an absolutely amazing roller coaster week. And it feels like we've been to loads of bases. And in fact, it was just two. It was Coningsby and Lake and Eve back to back because I knew the weather was going to play a major part in some of this. But we did it 48.2K and still climbing like a quick climb. Thank you all so much for the support. It's been brilliant. Thanks for your feedback. Those of you who love the history. Uh, Philip Jones, Guards March, just gifted another membership. Thank you very much. Thank you. One more thanks. And uh, we're going to go. Uh, just want to say massive thank you to the 48 Fighter Wing. Thank you for everything you do. Uh, have an absolutely superb weekend. Thanks everyone who supported the channel. It, we couldn't do it without you, honestly. It's been an incredible, incredible journey. And uh, here he is. How you doing? <laughs> it's Ground Crew Drew. How you doing? You good? And uh, he's obviously buzzing, wants to go to uh, wherever it is that he goes on weekends, somewhere in London. Anyway, thank you all so much. It's been incredible. All of you who supported it through Super Chat, Super Stickers, gifting memberships, taking out Ted Connorsby memberships. And of course, just hitting that like button as well and subscribing. Keep doing it. Keep sharing. Keep, spread the love. This is the one and only Ted Connorsby channel where history meets the present, where the present never forgets the past. Never forgets the past. Sorry, <laughs> thought it was another aircraft coming in. Thanks a lot, and honestly, thank you. Enjoy yourselves, right? Have an absolutely amazing weekend. Uh, be happy and do things that make you happy. Thank you very much, everyone. So, bottom of my heart, top of Ted's foot.
This been watching. You've been watching the Ted Coningsby channel, and we've been live here at RAF Lake in Heath. See ya! Thank you very much. Have an absolutely cracking weekend, everyone. See you soon. Wish you well. Yeah, Brian's going to go on. Thank you. Yeah, Brian's going to go on. Thank you.